Hey there, everybody. Set here, and welcome to Set Plays RimWorld Biotech XCOM Edition. I think that's what I'm calling it. Rim, I'm not gonna call it. I'm not gonna put Biotech in there. RimWorld XCOM. Yeah, that's what we're doing. We, it's modded. We're back with the mods. There's a lot of them. Behold. Ignore the ones on the left. Those are from a previous series. But we got mods. There's just a couple of them. You'll get a, you'll get the XML file. You'll get the thing in the... Um, they, they, they keep complaining one was not compatible. I haven't seen a problem yet. I tested it. You'll get a list of the mods on Steam in the workshop. Of course, as we do. You know, I want to make sure if you want to play along with the mod list, you can. Mods config will be in there somewhere, too. Anyway. Let's get into it. We're gonna do a new colony. I got a got a little scenario down here ready to go. XCOM on the offensive, land in a world to cleanse it of hostile alien life. You see, as you're aware, the new XCOM initiative is centered on our offensive capabilities. You see, I decided to just make up. You know, you know how XCOM Two is based on the assumption that XCOM lost the first alien invasion, the initial alien invasion from XCOM. Uh, it's not UFO defense. XCOM enemy, enemy unknown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the assumption for XCOM 2. What if they won? What if what if XCOM won? You know, what if the volunteer actually did get on the ship and they killed the Uber Ethereal? Kind of a terrible name for a final boss, but whatever. Uh, and you know, he sent the ship out into space where it imploded into a black hole far away from Earth. What if that weird stuff happened? Well, obviously, XCOM would have still want to go out and find the alien threat. So that's what we're doing. Centered on offensive capabilities. We're not capable of true interstellar travel because that's a RimWorld thing. Uh, we have the means to send squads out to distant worlds with a mission of removing any sentient uh, alien life hostile to humanity. You'll be dropped in with some basic supplies enough to keep to establish a base camp and keep them alive for several days. They will look to you for guidance as they establish a foothold, drive out hostile aliens, and claim the planet for humanity. Adapt, survive, win. Your effects will be new arrivals. Five people between uh, these ages with drop pods, 100 survival meals, 750 steel. Two conventional assault rifles, a conventional pistol, a conventional snipey. These are from an XCOM mod. Titanium longsword, because the swords didn't come with the mod. I don't know why. Uh, 100 componies and 25 medkits, also from the mod. Which are kind of like a burst of instant accelerated healing. They're kind of neat. Anyway, look, we're going to do that scenario. Uh, I have the hot seat mod, so we'll be swapping between all of these. You got uh, Basilisk Bestower. Igor Invader, Perry Persistent, Hildegard Heroic, uh, Saren is Sadistic, Sipiter uh, Accidental, Victoria Valkyria, which is an interesting one, Empress Evil, and then of course, old Randy, Phoebe, and Cassie. We're going to start with Randy, I think. Just, we're going to strive to survive in reload anytime mode, because if you're playing with a bunch of mods, you should not do uh, Iron Man mode. All right. I'm gonna do our, I'm gonna do, if I could spell, UFO defense as our seed for this world. We're gonna do 100% eh, coverage, let's take a long ass time. Let's do 50% coverage. You know, you take over half the world, that's enough. Crowd it up, please. Now, as far as enemy, other, not an enemy, but other civilizations, factions, they can deal with. We've got the Orion Corps. We got Civil Commandos, which is from like a Crawltech mod or something. No, Crawltech Industries. No, it's not from that. I don't remember where this one's from. Oh, well. Crawltech. That one is from Crawltech. It's its own mod. Apparently, it's the it's kind of powerful, but whatever. Uh, Outlander Union, Rough Rotfish Tribe, Neat. Sorids, Pigs. You know what they are. Let's take out the Gentle Tribe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Neanderthal tribe, eh, maybe we can keep that one. It'll be fun. Wild hordes, impids, dark hordes, which are cursed in Neanderthals, Yiddikins, waster pirates, xeno human pirate gangs, the Shattered Empire, of course, the Zithid Hive, mechanoids, and insects. Is there anything else that we should put in here? Growlers, yes. Wolf like growlers. It, it reeks of wet dog. Give them to me, Neil. Uh, let's see. Savage tribes. Nyan kind. These cat girls. I think these are cat girls. I don't remember all the mods I have in here, but yeah, we'll throw the cat girl tribe in there. Why the heck not? Orcs? Yeah, orc clan. 
They're not savages, all right? They, they, you know, as far as you know, elfin settlers. A sad tribe of elfin. All right, why not? Okay. Let's do it. I might have to regenerate the world a couple of times. There's a little bit of pollution here, but that's fine. We got waster pirates, so it makes sense. I might have to regenerate a couple of times because sometimes faction control doesn't really give me the amount of settlements I'm really looking for. But let's see what happens. We'll give it a nice shot, shall we? Give me the worldiest world that ever did the world. Now, one big mod that's in this group that I'm basically bringing back is the SRTS mod, which allows you to create basically drop ships. Big ones. They can do things like drop and ship. It's great. Um, it's, you know, I wanted to build upon the whole thing where, you know, XCOM, you go out, you you get in the Sky Ranger, you go to a place, you land there and you kill everything in it. It's great. We're going to try that, except for the humans. That's what I'm talking about. Look at this planet. Oh, baby. We also have um, Rimnauts and Universum, I think it's called, that uh, gives you asteroids, too. Look at this planet. It's full of people. And non-peoples. And this one tribe up here. Anyway, there's there's some cat girls. Uh, okay. So, there's your factions. Most of them don't care about us yet. Well, to be fair, we haven't selected our ideal religion, but you're going to have some. And these rough Udans, always hostile. The Zithid Hide, always hostile. You know, basically always hostile. Ampids, the Dork Hordes, you know. The Nyans are apparently naturally hostile as well because they're su supremacist raiders. I did not know that. Well, there you go. You learn something every day. Hit me up with a random location if you'll do me that favor. Um... What is this arid shrubland? What the hell is this? Bungle? Oh, extreme pollution. No, thank you. <laughs> uh, yeah, no. Uh, who's near us? Mm. Start me near some enemies. There you go. The uh, Napak Pact. Who is that? Who the heck are you? You the swords? Okay, yeah. Let's start near the swords. There's also these guys, Lancelor, who are the commandos. In the fun thicket. Hey, look, there's some sad elves over here. I think that's who they are. Is it Northern Shaboom the sad elves? They are. Yeah, their moral guide is named Jaguar. It's pretty great. Yeah, well, I'll start around here. Let's give me... I feel like some places with growing zones would make sense. You know, last... I don't know, last time we did that too, and it was kind of a... Ooh, small hills and a creek. Large hills and a creek. It's in a valley. Ooh, they, let's go go settle down in the valley. I like. I mean, this is a little close to the the pact. Actually, that might make them mad. Never mind. I don't want to start on the road. So I guess this place. It's not a valley. Search for landform nearby. Oh, you could choose one. Well, that's neat. A lone mountain. What does this mean? I, I don't know what that means. Um, I don't know if I want the Lone Mountain. I kind of want the forest with a creek. That seems neat. All right, let's, let's do this. Yeah, this place. Okay, Ideal Legend. Load saved. Because, you know, you got XCAM. Yes, I changed my mod list since I created the Ideal Legend. I know. Leave me alone. All right. We're going to prepare carefully here. There we go. Okay, we're going to get rid of all these people. Who, I don't know who any of you are, but you're not in my colony. Sorry. All right. And then we're going to load in some people who are going to be in our colony. Please understand. So, it's what we do. All right. As you can tell, I came prepared so I wouldn't have to spend like 400 years between recording part one and part two of this. Because that's what I had to do in the past. Anyway, so let's look at things. So we got, first of all, we're, we got the idea religion of XCOM. When aliens invaded Earth in 2015, the Council of Earth Nations convened to approve the activation of the XCOM project to oversee our first and last line of defense against the alien threat. Though initially outclassed and outgunned by the alien menace, human ingenuity and tenacity allowed us to turn the tide, culminating in Operation Avenger, where XCOM defeated the Uber Ethereal and so the sacrifice of the Volunteer prevented the, the destruction of Earth. Millennia later, humanity's reached back out to the stars. We do not come seeking war. We come prepared to fight and to win. 
Humanity will no go, never go quietly into the night. No longer a defensive project. XCOMs. Oh, I did a typo. Look at me. I'm awful. New initiative is to seek out hostile alien life and destroy it before it can do the same to us. Okay. So, medical drug use. Autonomous weapons are cool. Don't like insects. Don't like blood feeders. Don't care about tattered apparel. It's wartime. Uh, expectations are low. We don't like alien slavery. Um, we don't like any kind of slavery. Dude, that was what was a pain in the ass. This is why I have these three up here. Loyalist, collectivist, and human primacy. I wanted to do, like, xenophobia. But then xenophobia was like, yeah, we hate aliens. Let's enslave them all. And it's like, not really what I'm looking for. But, you know? Not really my goal. Same thing with all the rating um, memes as well. It just didn't work out. Don't like um, nerve stapling. Don't like slavery. Rating is honorable. So we're expected to raid every 25 or so days uh, to avoid a mood debuff. So, you know, something to keep in mind. It also lowers our global work speed by 4%, which is kind of annoying, but it is what it is. Charity's worthwhile. Don't like cannibalism. What else is worth pointing out here? Uh, corpses are ugly. Don't care about execution one way or the other. If it happens, it happens. Dating aliens is horrible. Um, but aliens themselves... Oh, I should have changed this one. Um, the lesser... I, maybe I couldn't. I don't know. Maybe it has to be neutral unless you have xenophobia. Anyway, uh, what else is here? Research is normal. Dumb labor and different. Don't care about no fungus. It's food. It is what it is. Violence is acceptable. Uh, let's see. Leader is lieutenant commander. Chief advisor is the moral guide. We have a chief engineer. We have Christmas. It's pretty great. We have Freedom Day. Oh, yeah. Uh, we have two relics. The, uh, we have Central's Multipurpose Combat Rifle and the Volunteer's Psyamp. Baseliners are the preferred Xenotype. I think that's all we need to know for now. All right. And we have a group of Baseliners here ready to go. We have, uh, Raynal, Ray Ray the Knight. He's got a lot of melee. He's got a ridiculous amount of melee, I'm not going to lie. Um, but he is a Squire turned Star Knight, so it makes sense i guess he's the sense of size he's the kleptomaniac so he might end up you know stealing things every once in a while he also really likes the blade he studied the blade he studied it a lot uh dismas over here he's got the shoot juice street urchin turn hired gun bloodlust steady hand so he's good at the shoot juice he's abrasive though he's also desensitized as well so you know dead people it's whatever to them skip over wingus real quick see vasilla over here, our resident uh, careful shooter, Steady Hands, is going to be hopefully a resident sniper, but is also a gunsmith. Um, you know, some talent in medical, but this goes away quickly after he hits level 10. Uh, doesn't care for cooking at all. <clears throat> well, apathetic towards this, even worse. Uh, mining, construction, some shooting skill. It's all pretty good, pretty good. And uh, we're bringing back Fran from the last one because I hate myself, apparently. Bloodlust! Substance tolerant. Expect some battles in between our own people. He's a killer and a healer. Uh, a pas natural affinity for melee, which means learns quickly, also forgets quickly. Good with medicine, also does plant work. And then finally, Wingus McDingus. He was a character who I had the Discord channel vote on. One of the characters from an older series to bring back. It was Wingus, or it was Holmes from the vanilla biotech, or it was Nyberg from the SCP series, or it was Rathburger from Darkest Dungeon and XCOM 2. Uh, and Wingus got the most votes. He's a hacker kid who's also an involuntary hermit. Not very good with people. He has an annoying voice. He doesn't like women. He's also on, he's really not good with people. Vulgar jokes, lack of manners, and sleazy demeanor. He's also lazy. This is what you asked for. This is what you wanted, chat. This is what you wanted, Discord. Hope you're happy. Uh, he's, his skills are not great, but he's also the only one with any passion in cooking, which is probably going to be a problem. All right. That's everything I think we need to look for. We don't need to worry about the relationships because the ones we imported don't have any. Equipment. Uh, looks like Randy's not giving us anything other than the base item. Sometimes there's like one or two extra things on this list, but Randy, nope, he's going by the book right now. So we're just getting the stuff we start with. In that case, let's start. All right. Part of me almost wishes I selected the valley, but I'm okay with not doing that. We're fine. We'll be okay. It's good. Be cool. You know, you're going to land on a planet. Lots of aliens. 
Lots of fighting, probably. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, yeah, there's going to be. Lots of research to do, too. So, you know... I thought about getting the transhumanist meme so I could get a head researcher as well, but I feel like I don't I feel like I didn't have to do that necessarily. And I play transhumanist a lot. So I figured I'd just go without that for once. All right. That's the same one you saw on the other thing, so we're fine. Okay. We have arrived. Okie dokie then. Dismas, you get the conventional pistol. Wingus, Vasilla, and Fran, you get Oh, no, no, um, Vasilla, you actually get the, uh, sniper. Fran, you get this assault rifle. And Reynold, you get the titanium longsword. There's our med kits. Check this out. Immunity gain speed 200%. Healing factor 4,000%. It apparently lasts for one hour, but it, like, greatly speeds up healing. It's kind of neat. And then, of course, our steel. It's pretty great. What do we got around us? We got some blue. Crystalline uneven bricks. Interesting. Some niece, some nice niece. Uh Dinosaur. The Metrodon. Ah, yes, prehistoric biomes. Well that would that would that would do that. Yeah. Okay. We have dinosaurs. A lot of them. We've landed on a dinosaur planet, but there's also raccoons. Protoceratops. Look at that little beak. Look at that. Her beak's adorable. I love it. Its bird-like beak may have inspired the myths of griffins. They are known prey of velociraptors. Well, that's unfortunate for them. What else we got around us? We got some red, some cyanite. I like cyanite. Ancient Ethereum. I don't even know what the heck this is. What the heck is this? It's from the Phylox Xenotype mod. Strange metal. Forsaken crags. When this energy is channeled, it can provide a dim yellow glow. Uh, well, stats-wise, it's kind of garbage. I won't say garbage. It's, like, not much better than steel, other than it's not flammable. So probably not the thing I wanted to see there. Silver. Gold. Okay. Is there seriously no... Okay, I was going to say, is there seriously no steel over here? I was going to be very annoyed. Is that titanium? Oh, that's a huge vein of titanium. Sweet. Oh my god, this is all the water we got? Oh no, wait, we have a shallow river, like, through most of the map. Okay, thank goodness. I was concerned for a minute. Got a lake as well, so, you know, we got some things going on. I guess we could finish this room? You know, build around this whole thing, turn it into a proper room? Do something with it? Anyway, go ahead and equip, equip your weapons. Seems like a fair start. Give me some steel walls, and let's go ahead and... Just finish this up. Don't home area this place, though. I choose where the home area is. Thank you very much. Okay. Close this place up. That's step one. Uh, Oh, I see. You're replacing the granite wall with a steel wall. Actually, don't do that. The granite wall is stronger. Yeah. You know, the steel is patchwork. And that's fine. Thanks for starting us off with a little bit of a base-like area here, game. Appreciate you. Steel sarcophagi will get us some extra steel. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Hey, Wingus, how we doing? How are we doing already? What is this? Wingus made a comment about vacations to Reynold. Like, hey, is this like a vacation? Reynold's like, no. No, you idiot. This is not a vacation. This is our job. This is why we're here. Um, let's see. Man, Fran's the only one who's good with plants, but I should have at least the other people who have some skill, which is going to be Vasilla and Wingus work on plants. Reynold can help with construction. Fran can help with construction. I know I'll eventually want to go to the numbered um, task here, but or numbered work priorities, but for now, I think we're fine. Hey, there's some honey over here. Nice. Alright, yeah, once this place is all done up, I want to make sure to claim it as well. This belongs to us now. Whether you like it or not. And if you don't, I don't know if I care. Let's go ahead and clear the home area. By the way, Dubsmint menus. And uh, the mod that gives me this. Beautiful. Love this. Love these menus. Love modded room world. Who doesn't, though? Okay. I'm curious as to how much actual roofing we can do here. We might be able to roof up the whole room. But we might not. And, you know, while we're here, um, let's get rid of this granite table. They're all normal. We only need one for now. 
That'll work. Let's put it over here. We'll put some chairs in there. Reynold, corded friend. Man, wasting no time over here, dude. Settle down. You're going to get your mood destroyed immediately. Unsightly environment, low expectations. All preferred xenotypes. I mean, yeah. What is that? A lystrosaur. Having thought to weigh under 200 pounds, the synapse had fed on the stems and leaves of plants. Neat. It's a popular pet on synapsid populated worlds. Well, it is kind of cute. I'll give you that. All right. I'm thinking, like, you know, put this together, and boom, you have one bedroom. And then, well, I got to have a door to it. Not a granite door, because we don't have granite, but we do have steel. So behold, steel door here, steel door here. We'll tear down that granite for it because I'm lazy. All right, dude, what is this music? I feel like I'm having some XCOM problems right now. Holy jeez. All right, that'll be a start. Hey, there's apples, sweet. Okay, and while we're doing that, let's go ahead and slap down a stockpile zone over here. Okay, base camp, pretty much established at this point. Okay, you do quit flirting like every five seconds. This must try to attract the cell. Seriously, guys, settle the hell down. Okay, now we need beds, but here's the good news. We can, we can do this much more easily now. Because now we have bunk beds. So we're going to put a triple bunk up here. Because we can. Um, you know what? With this shape, let's go ahead and do it like this. Wait, we're going to get enough granite for that? Probably not. Let's do it like that. And then a triple bunk can go here. And then the ladies can just have a double bunk down here. Nice. All right. Things are going. Dude, what is this music? It is bopping. Grimworld is serious today. Uh, where'd we get this APB-1 rifle? Oh, the components. Yeah, definitely got to get those in. All those urgently, please. Same thing with the uh, package survival meals and the med kits. Because I do not want those to go bad. Not sure where this came from, but it's a hell of a weapon. ABP rifles, they can set people on fire. And non-people. Accuracy's not the greatest, but they're still pretty damn good. Okay, th there you go, there you go. Triple bunk bed. Okay. So this one belongs to Ray Ray, Dismiss, and Wingus. And I think the order that you do that is the order they sleep on it, too. So I guess Wingus gets top bunk. Lucky him, huh? If you want to call him lucky. Okay, Rimworld, Rimworld, Rimworld. I... What is with the music volume, dude? Holy cow, man. I'm trying to blow out my eardrums over here. All right. Put in a haul things order for everything in here. Get it out. Okay, this is bedroom or bed two. Also normal, but I'll take it. Uh, Fran, you take a bottom bunk. Vasily, you take top bunk since Vasily's a sniper. That makes sense, right? What do you mean that's not how it works? I know. You don't have to tell me. Uh, let's put in some proper flooring in these bedrooms too. Just because we can. There we go. The rest of this can be floored up later. Oh, Ray Ray, you can gain expertise. That is a mod that lets you... It's vanilla skills expanded. It allows you to basically get even stronger in your skills once you get to a certain level. So I could give him armor piercing to his melee weapons, or I can give him faster slaps. I'm going with faster slaps, because armor piercing can be gotten with better weapons. It's the way I'm justifying it. All right. Getting there, getting there. Uh, when did this become granite wall? That was my bad. Randy, what are you doing? Randy? Randy, you can't just stop the game like this. We just started. 
Battle of Brew Blue Braga. Oh, so we already have a fight going on. Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm dumb. I I picked steel instead. That happens sometimes. Please ignore dumb old me. Honestly, no. Let's go up to here. Make the room just a little bit bigger. And then we can take this down and... Battle of Br Blue Braga. The Heistan forces are about to engage the Red Oyster Azga. Ooh. Can I see this? I can see this battle, too. I love this mod that lets you see these battles. So... Minotaur. So, Heistan is the Orc clan. So, there's some Orcs. What are Orcs? Strong melee, high libido, apparently. Fertile. Okay. Um, aggressive. All right. Neat. You're a baseliner? Okay. Yeah, it works. Def what? Two strong melee ones? Holy crap. So, strong melee skill and strong melee damage. What are you? Apparently, they're... Uh, yeah, that's right. You're a minotaur. Bovine temper. Higher chance that mental breaks are violent. Uh, apparently, they just produce milk periodically. And they go into heat during April, May. It's a very specific group of uh, traits you got there. Herculean. Ah. There are some weapons that only Herculean pawns can equip. Gotcha. And over here, Purifier. What, what are you? You are accursed. Hmm. They have a strong sense of tribal identity, apparently. Very... They're ugly and they love, they love to kill. They are built in with killing intent. Okay. This is a slug. Or an author, arthropod. It's neat. Okay. Is this a minotaur as well? He is a minotaur. Alright. Well, we're getting a good little taste of battle here. Are there any other xenotypes I should look at? You're a... What are you? You're a satyr. Virtuoso. Capable of, uh... Excuse me, what did that say? Range of powerful songs. Okay, horizontal pupils. Uh, only bushy-style beards. And they're all on couth, apparently. And vulgar. Alright, well, that's cool. Holy cow, I have no idea. What is this red stuff? Blood of Okapi? It, like, blew up that dude! Are you carrying dual loots? This person was carrying dual loots. <laughs> what? It passively increases artistic skill. Okay, I want a loot now. I want to give someone a loot. Oh, Oliver here is on fire. Sucks to be him. All right. Well, Red Oyster, Asuka are leaving. They got destroyed by the people with guns. So, you know, no surprise there. Dang. The high stands just destroyed in this one. So the orcs, it says they're not savages. They were not wrong. These lads have technology. They've got giant tuning forks. So hold on to your butts. What is this dude? Muffalo. Ultima armor, plating, plate armor. All right. Well, that was all impressive, wasn't it? Well, that's an idea. Are you repairing this thing that you're going to have to deconstruct, Ray Ray? My dude, what's wrong with you? Conqu yeah, of course they uh, they lost the, the area. No, duh. They kind of got their butts kicked pretty darn hard. Okay, at least now the barracks is considered awful and dull. Uh, this dining room is considered awful currently as well. Hello there, Dimetrodon. How you doing? Okay, so we're not going to lose any of our materials now. I guess the next step is really to probably consider dividing this room a little bit into more rooms. You know? We could use a proper dining room, for example. Uh, we can make dining chairs. You know, we have wood outside. We should probably collect some. What the hell is this big-ass tree? A podaz tree. Hardwood. It takes a long time to grow, but their wood is strong. All right, I'll take it. Apparently, there's a lot of them. All right. When they get me all podazed. Look at that. It works like a charm. See? Through the bunk bed mod. It's one of the... It's, it's the simple things, you know? You love the simple things occasionally. I thought Randy was sending another fight. 
honestly thought that for a minute. Anyway, this is day one. We got some blue crystals from the ground, which I guess we'll be collecting more of these. They have good hit HP for items. Melee cooldown is fast, and sharp damage is good, so it's, they're good for melee swords and other sharp melee weapons. Spears would be good, too. Uh, lots of extra work to make stuff out of. Good beauty to them, too. What about value? Well, market value, 60%, so they're not worth a lot of money. Okay. Good to know, good to know. You know, these are more titanium? Oh my gosh. These are the things you gotta know, you know? Especially when you're on a brand new world and you don't know what's going on. You know, you gotta learn. Right now it's, you know, 2 a.m. There's not much to learn right this second. Nice is fine, I think. It's not like the best rock, as far as I remember. But, uh, actually, can you... It's kind of funny you can't, like, see what the rock itself is good for, as far as HP and stuff. But whatever. It is what it is. And that's all that it is. There's a good chunk of steel right there. I feel good about that. Now, it's not growing season all year round, so we're probably going to want to... What is all this? Bush bracken? Okay, just garbage then. Hey, marble. Sweet. Move that move that around. Let's make ourselves a nice little starting growing zone here. Do a 4 by 9 Grow us some delicious... What the hell is this? Real-like fungus. Okay. Resembling an ear of wheat. One of the earliest vascular plants. So we have old plants we could grow here, too. Aquamelon! Aquamelon? All right. Abyssal grapes. Uh-huh. That doesn't seem like something we should... Ugh. Oh, God. Fire lavender. All right, that's neat. Um, can I just grow some regular food? Let's grow some rice for now. Or actually, let's grow some carrots. Actually, uh, carrots. Yeah, let's do carrots. Carrots are good. All right, it's daytime. And Wingus has decided it's time to chop, baby. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, did you get any wood from that? You got 27. All right, good stuff. We can use that wood. We can use that wood to make some of these chairs. Uh, we require... F Wait, we got ironwood? We got 45 ironwood. Is that what's coming from the Podaz trees or something? I honestly don't know. Fran has decided to start with... Ooh, we have a berry bush right here. Nice. Basically free food right there. All right. Ray Ray, Dismas, and Vasilla are on a repair frenzy. Fran is on a growing frenzy. Dimetrodon is on a Dimetrodon frenzy. Revenge chance on tame fail. 15%. Might as well give it a shot. Someone here is good with animals, right? Handling. Basilla, five. Wingus, you like doing it. Five. So, Wingus, it's your job. I mean, it could be either of you, but still, someone do it. What the hell is that sound? Oh! Oh, the Dimetrodon is fighting with the Lystrosaur. Do you eat meat? It does. Huh. Function of the sales disputed. Okay. I didn't know you were a meat eater for some reason off the top of my head. Well, don't eat my meat, please. You can eat that thing, though. Although we'll take it for later. All right. Now we have a good amount of regular wood. What does this give us? Oh, wait, are you cutting down the podas? You are. That's regular wood. Okay. I was wondering if it gave us iron wood or not. It does not. So... Put some chairs around here. Boom. Dining room is done. At least the initial dining area. I know something said something about claymores to Dismas. You like claymores? I like claymores. They're neat. Yeah, we got some steel urns in here, too. Just some extra things. All right, let's go ahead and get an end table for these lads. You can link to this, right? Oh, you got a link up here. That works. A dresser. 
And then for the ladies as well. Dresser. End table. Okay. You know, you gotta be... I'm trying to be efficient over here. With the space. There's a raccoon. There's a monkey puzzle tree. Grows very fast. Predates both monkeys and puzzles. In case you didn't know. Uh, ancient razor wire over here. That's interesting. Hey, can we fish? We can. Uh, let's put a fishing zone over here. Let's put it nearest to the base. There we go. Bass, eel, trout, koi, perch, piranhas. All right. Does anyone actually fish? Uh, yes. Wingus and Vasilla can. Probably is mainly the animal skill, so this is fine. All right. All these are down. There we go. Good dresser. Okay. There's still barracks, but they're barracks worth keeping at this point. Or at least somewhat worth talking about. Okay, what's next? Ooh, we're right next to a steam guys. I didn't notice that before, but we could probably use power soon. All right, and our choices are wood, chem fuel, or turbine. And honestly, wood's looking really good right now because we're in a forest. I'll tell you what, give me a, a wooden turbine right here. Make sure it's in home area so that we repair it and maintain it and all that good stuff. Uh, Vasilla's out here fishing. How's it going, Vasilla? You got anything? Is it coming down? Show me that... N oh, okay, you didn't get anything. Well, you tried. At least I hope. <laughs> oh, you did get something. You got 15 bass. You got an amazing haul. I'll shut up then. Love this shrub right in the middle of our area here. Okay. So let's see, when you're thinking of the hierarchy of needs, we got food, but we still have plenty of packaged survival meals. We got shelter, so that's good. Defense would come up next on that list. We also need recreation, so that's something the game says you need, not, not Maslow. Maslow doesn't care about recreation until a little bit higher on the totem pole, but whatever. Just throw down a horseshoe's pen right there and we're fine. Uh... It says we need beds, but I think that's because it just counts the amount of furniture that are titled as beds, as opposed to how many actual people you can sleep. I don't know, because it works for the double beds, so it just doesn't work as the, for the bunk beds for some reason. Honestly, not sure now that I think about it. Anyway, we need to get some research popping soon, too. I can take this column down, I'm like 90% sure. It's made out of fungus. Okay. Yeah, we're still a little... Wait. Yeah, we have we have all the medikits that we should have. Okay. For some... My brain thought we should have had more for a second. Should prepare defenses. Or what? Randy's going to attack? I mean, probably. Okay. So now we're going to have that. What I would love is a few sources of light. We'll put a lamp in he right here and right here. Look at that. Perfect fit. 10 out of 10. Gotta have conduits, too. Yes, yes, yes. It's out of juice. I know. Okay. Uh, how do I want it to look? I mean, this one's a little... Kind of steampunkish. Oh, old style. That's why it's, it looks... Turbo. Double. Uh, centered. And this is the classic one. Um, Give me the turbo. Yeah. There you go. Now it's pumping. Got smoke and everything. Uh, Different light styles. I mean, honestly, they could both be the same one, which is apparently this one. The wide post. Cool. Okay, and then we can start looking at... I didn't mean to adjust that. Whoops. And then we can start looking into where we're going to put the research area. And honestly, this plate, this space right here is calling to me. Ah, if I had 20 granite, I could do it there. Is there any other granite I can take down, like, for free? 
Plenty of steel. Some more fungus. Is fungus good? Mushroom logs. Fungus is garbage. It has good door opening speed, which means it's about as good as wood for that. Which I guess makes sense, that's why it's called uh, fungus wood. But other than that, it appears to be trash. Like, straight up. Got some cyanide over here. Ooh, probably have an ancient danger over there, and it is hidden behind granite. And it's the only other granite around here, huh? All right, fine. We'll do it out of steel then, whatever. Uh, no, we don't want We're out of steel. We need to mine. All right. Well, thankfully we have a spot for that. Get to work, lads. Who mines? Uh, only Vasilla? Well, congratulations, Wingus. Dismas, you two can mine as well. You can learn to get better at it. All right, nobody's currently idle. So we all got stuff to do. 3.3 days. Okay. That's fair. Should probably come up with some other uses of electricity in the meantime, you know? Let's see, we got the horseshoes pen up. Combat dummies would be a good thing to have. To have one for melee. And then one for range. So the melee one can go like right here. A little alcove right here. Okay. And I guess the ranged one can go like up here for now. Yeah. New luck. Really? Bran tried to attract Reynold by describing him as a fine bluff. Alright, I guess. She's tried two other times before. Alright. Said something about fat people to Reynold. Y'all are something. Okay, I need this and this to be in repair zones, though. Because what they're going to do is they're going to... I'm going to make this one the ranged one. They're going to shoot at it to train. And then they have to repair it afterwards. I mean, they don't have to, but it helps train two skills. So this one's usable for melee. And then someday Ray Ray will get that one done. Wingus recited a tasteful rhyme about vampires. Excuse you, sir? There's another Dimetrodon here. Stegoceros. Neat. Yeah, now Ray Ray's gonna start training. He's like, yeah, I'll punch this thing. And when it's about destroyed, I'll repair it. Something like that. But yeah, he gets dueling skill from doing that, so... It all works out. Hey, maybe get this poplar tree out of the way of your game. Oh, an ironwood tree, too. Sweet. Okay. Well, let's just assume I'm gonna build this out of steel. With a wooden door, because it opens fast. And this will be our initial research area. I can make fish traps, too. Simple ones. I can also do planter boxes, which would have good... Good fertility. Don't necessarily need a milking machine. All right. Settle down, game. Oh, that's right. I need steel for this. Well, that's a pain in the butt ski, isn't it? I mean, we'll eventually be able to get it done. But uh, it's going to take some time. Ooh, that'll actually connect? Sweet. Okay. Well, all right. I was going to see how much steel we had there, but that's fine, too. That works. We have enough to get most of this done. I guess that's what's important. There you go. Different kinds here. We got the kind with the simple folders, simple centrifuge, simple beakers, and then the classic. Give me the folders one. Yeah, there you go. Cool. Laboratory. It sucks. But it's, it's a start. Give me a chair here. Just a basic-ass chair. Okay. Give me a light in this room, too. Because right now, we're eating in the dark. And nobody's going to love that. Ooh, I like the little bar stool. It's not the kind I want for this, but I like it. Yes, a spinny stool. There you go. Beautiful. It's still a bar stool type, but you know. There we go. Got a little bit of light in here now. Okay. Need a research project. Yeah, we do. Draken laser drill. Tempting, but it costs 2000 so I think we should start with something simpler. We don't know how to smith. Somehow. Batteries, of course, would be great. 
water mill generator. We do have water over here. Let's start with that. That way we won't have to be as, as reliant on that wood. Now, I'm genuinely surprised that Randy hasn't thrown anything at us yet. Minor break risk on Wingus. No beautiful pawns in the in the colony. It's hard work being the most attractive one here. My friend... Who are these friends? That you know. Made a dirty joke about heel root. Oh my god. Vulgarity. <laughs> Failed to romance me. Uncouth. Annoying voice. He did have a nice chat at one point. Oh my god. Oh, Wingus. Like, is that from the uncouth? It might be. Oh my gosh. He's gonna be. He's gonna. He's gonna be a whole thing, isn't he? His entire existence is gonna be a thing in and of itself. I can tell. Oh boy. At least his mood is going back up. Very comfortable. Mediocre barracks. Yeah. They don't like it. But it's it's acceptable for now. Alright, and the people wake up. They come over here. They eat. And they have a good time. So far, so good. And then Reynold goes and trains. And now he's at 20. His longsword is now a mythic item called the Longsword of Reynold the Mighty. I mean, it's not currently. In future colonies, it can you can find this one with that name. Right now, it's just a titanium longsword with a lot of attack power. Okay. Give me the numbers. Um, Wingus, your research is at two now. Okay. For everyone else, I think we're good where we are. Let's go ahead and tear up all of this crystal. I don't know if it's good for anything. I assume it's not, but we don't need it. Presumably. There you go. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right, and I think I can take all these columns down now. Yeah, they all went down. Oh, hi. Semyon Kent from Highstan. He's an orc, right? Yes, he's an orc. He has stuff to trade. A Homelander AR pistol. Oh my God, this accuracy. What is this gun? That is a heck of a gun. I might need to try to buy that. If we can. Okay. Well, where are you going to come up? What, what was that? A Trudon? That's a name. Hi, Trudon. How you doing? Small predator species. Neat. Wingus, how you doing? Better? Eh, good enough for now. Who's our best at social? Not Winkus, not Vasilla, not Fran, Dismas, and Reynold. They're about equal. Okay. Well, Reynold, you're less busy right now. Go talk to Kent. Don't arrest him. You know, we're not here to purposefully fight. There you go. Train there. Ugh, although if we killed him, we could get this. Um, oh, that's right. We have that ABP-1 rifle, though. We have a good... A very good rifle on our own side. I think we're good. For now. Okay, now they'll actually use this for training. There we go. Fran's already started. Which is good because she's good at melee. Not so good at range. So she could use the practice. Alright, thank you. Dismiss. We're getting this all done up. Any, uh... Any mountain? Nope. Okay. Mountainous roofs is what I was looking for. Alright, research has begun. Wingus starting to work on the water mill generator. 
Once we have that, we can put that over here and have a much easier form of electricity for the time being. All right. The hard part is going to be the rating. Especially since they're the ones closest to us. It's 1.1 day. Give or take. But everyone else is really not an enemy necessarily, except for Venom Fort over here, which is a two and a half day trip in September. No, oh, you got the uh, Nyan people over here too. 1.4 days. Oh, are these the... The brains. They're the... Oh, yeah, we got some evil guys near us. Okay. Okay, we could have some interesting things happen. Eventually, we need to research RSTS. Or R SRTS. Eventually. But as you can see, there's a lot of research that has to go first. So we got a lot on the docket here to get taken care of. All right, well, we now have 240 of this blue crystal crap. Again, not really sure how useful it is, but it looks neat. All right. Well, everyone's nice and alive. News of peace between those two factions. Good for them. Good for them, indeed. Visitors from the Coalition of Heisten are leaving. Okay, see ya. Apparently, you could just make crystal out of crystal. It can give both indoor and outdoor beauty. It's apparently easier to clean. Hmm. So, like, I could put it here and make just a crystal floor. Made purely of crystal. All right. Why not give it a shot? Make something pretty while we can. Okay, now we need to look at what else we can be producing here. Crematoris, you can make that out of crystal as well. <laughs> yeah, that sounds great and useful. Oh, you know what? We are gonna have to be able to cut blocks, aren't we? Do we have the electric one? We do. That is a lot of components, but I think it's worth it. Fran, you should not be shooting from all the way back here, I'm gonna say. I'm just gonna throw that out there, okay? Can I move? This is why, by the way. So... I thought I had this moved far enough away where they wouldn't do that. But obviously I was wrong. And she keeps shooting our generator. Damn it, Fran. Ugh. Well, we'll have to think about what we could do about that. Honestly, the best place for the table would be right here. I know, work penalty because outdoors, but it'll still be... It'll still work plenty quickly. I mean, it looks neat. It raised the dining room to awful three from awful negative. Okay. Well, if we have a dining room, we should probably have a kitchen at some point, too. Just have to think of where and how to place it. Honestly, it would probably make sense... To like have a room like this where you can just have the butchering take place. Like just raw meat goes in here. And gets butchered or something. And then the kitchen is in a slightly different area. I mean I could divide this off right here. But I don't know if I want to do that necessarily. This shrub is still here. Get rid of it. I don't want that shrub. That shrub ain't doing nothing for me. You kidding me? Oh, uh, yeah, that's why we need to get ready to actually use this fish and such. Now, I'm pretty sure you can use it directly. Path cost for flying. Okay. Uh, 
<laughs> you can use it directly for cooking, so. But yeah, we're going to want a stove at some point. This would technically be the easiest place to put the stove, too. You know, you put in... We have 700 steel now. So you just put in an area here. With a nice steel door. And then... It would be best, of course, to do... Sterile tile, but we don't have that yet. That requires research. So I guess for now... I guess we'll have to just do the regular old paved tile. Yeah, we'll make that happen. Put a stove in there. Uh, electric stove. With a light. Okay. Right now we're not using that much power. I mean, right now we're literally using none. Because everything's turned off. You know, if you do that, and then put in a storage area over here with a deep refrigerator. To have a place to put all of the, uh, all the raw food. And then we could have a meal tray area right here. Where we put the meals themselves. It all comes together like pottery. All right. We're also low on medicine, technically. That is technically true. Ooh, I like the look of this one. Look at that. Two double ovens and four burners? This kicks ass. Um, okay. So now we can cook our simple meals and our less simple meals, if we want to. Well, I don't have very much in the way of veggies yet, so we're going to be cooking, you know, simply for a bit. Let's put some on the docket. You know, we'll stop eating the survival meals for a while. Storage. Raw food. Critical importance. Okay, that's where the fish goes from now on. We could use more, but that's not here nor there, I guess. You know, it's a start. We got research going. We've got training for both melee and ranged. Already popping off. Fran taking advantage of it as much as she can. We've got mining going on. Getting plenty of steel. Probably more than we need. I'm going to cancel this one up here. I don't think we need to work on that. Yeah, work on the stuff down there. Talk to each other about the fate of mankind. That's that's the perfect, perfect topic for you to talk about. There goes the last of our koi. But at least now we can we can cook the food moving forward. I will say, let's go ahead and get a butcher table. An electric one. We'll make it out of wood, but we're going to have to get it made. So that's fine. Here we go. Make stone blocks. Make... Any stone blocks do forever? It's usually a bad idea, but we'll see. And then get us more wood. Brand, that'll be something you could do. There you go. That's something you like doing. Okay. And then we can start actually hunting. Which, considering we're hunting dinosaurs, will be an interesting concept, needless to say. Uh, let's move these over when we get the chance. Uh, okay, well, Reynold thinks you should give your faction a name. I mean, obviously, we're going to be XCOM, but uh, we'll be XCOM's first and finest on this planet. Soundston. Fennet. Hackoworth. Lyrebird's Hamlet. Let's see. Grace City. Eh. Backgammon Town. <laughs> I thought about Grace City. It was tempting. Crockett. Bell Pepper Brook. <laughs> encampment by the Plateau. I mean, it is supposed to be an encampment or a base, I guess. Tooth Mesa. Bodyston. Devil's Gorge. 
Some of these names are not bad. And then there's Yamhurst instead, which is not great. Let's see. Dryden. Thybrad. Herrero. Hudspeth. Boom Rats Rock. That one's pretty good. Carrots Forest. Eggplant Land. That, you're not even trying now. Uh, shot Hither? Shot Hitter? Uh, Hovey? Royalty? Rivering? Togetherness Town? Alright, some of these are... I'm gonna be honest, not great. Okay, Solidarity District. Cardstown, Finlay, Angeles. Alright. Not loss. White Spoo. <laughs> I made fun of that one before. Rimtown! Rimtown in Rimworld, yes. I mean, that makes sense, right? Hmm. Let's see. Nah, we should give it a, a nice name, right? We'll call it, uh, Reaper's Rest. There you go. Okay. And I think on that note, that is going to be it for this first episode of Rimworld XCOM. We got a planet to take over, mostly. We got some aliens to defeat, let's put it that way. If you enjoyed this first episode, though, our initial outing, make sure to let me know by giving it a like. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe for more. See, it'll keep coming. It won't stop till it does, and then it will. And then something else will come, probably. Thanks again for watching this episode of Rimworld XCOM Edition. My name is Thet, and I'll see you. Really? In the new episode, Dismas of Vassilla and our lovers. Huzzah. <laughs> See you in the next video. Everybody owes.